Hi, I'm Maddie Varis. I'm a senior at South Milwaukee High School, and I play softball. I started playing softball when I was six. I've been playing for 12 years. Like, being on the field is a second home. I'm connected to it, like, my spirit is connected to softball at this point. I am a pitcher, and I play first. I love pitching. Pitching is by far the best thing on this planet. I'm not a, a strikeout pitcher, so I'm, a lot of girls, they, it's just like them and the batter, them and the batter and the catcher. I generate a lot of ground balls, so I feel like I'm connected with the team on every pitch. I'm the only senior on our team this year, so I feel like the most important thing for me to achieve this season was to be a leader to everybody else. I wanted to be a role model for everybody else. When I committed to Loyola University, Chicago, I fell in love with the school, and then, then I found out I was gonna be able to play softball there. That was highlight of my life, I'd say. I'm gonna be a communications major with a minor in Spanish. I'm valedictorian in my class. I'm one of six people. I love school. School's always been fun for me. Like, some people just don't like coming to school, but I don't mind it. Right now I like English because my favorite teacher is my English teacher, shout out to Bisco. I love to go shopping, which is probably not the best thing for my wallet, but I also work at Quick Trip. Um, I go hunting with my dad, I've been hunting since I could sit on his shoulders. Whenever I drive past the cemetery, I cross my fingers and I lift up my feet and I hold my breath because I don't want to get in a slump. I also have to put on my batting gloves first and then put on my elbow guard and then put on my helmet. So that's what I do every time, every at bat. I'm Maddie Varis, I'm a senior at South Milwaukee High School and I play softball. And I am this week's Fox 6 High School Hotshot. Is this heaven? Oh! <laughs> no. Try, good try. It's going to be a rocket shot. Just another summer night with fog rolling in <laughs> at Milwaukee's Lake Park for competitors oh, dressed in white. Nice. It's just kind of nice to have a nice, clean, crisp uniform. It sets off nicely against the, the green lawn. Those wearing white are on hand to play croquet. We've got a fantastic facility. This has got to be one of the best croquet facilities in the Midwest. So we've really lucked out in that regard. Meet the members of the Milwaukee Croquet Club. This is one of their league nights with twice a week a mean woman. I am. competition in the summer. Well, we're playing a simplified version of rules That's uh, where we're going to keep all the players. Wow. Oh, look at her. Nice shot, sweetie. Two teams of two players each together at each wicket. And as soon as one team scores the wicket, they get the point. And then all the players go to the next wicket and that keeps the game social. Keeping things social is the aim of the club. That was really nice. Oh, that was terrific. And that's why Gwen Connolly really enjoys it. For some of us, there is a, a bit of a competitive uh, undertone every now and again. Um, but Where are you going? It's, it's a social game. It really encourages that, um, that fellowship and that, that good naturedness of it. Uh, so even though you may be trying to win uh, and do your best uh, and improve your game, um, it's a, it's a very enjoyable time. <laughs> Club president Nels Bjorkwist emphasizes that anyone can take a whack at croquet. But one of the great things about croquet is anybody can play. You know, age doesn't matter. 
gender doesn't matter. The strong people play against the slow people, against the fast people. It's really a game of, of skill, and uh, strength and agility don't really factor into it. So it's a very accessible sport. Anybody can play. And there's plenty of room to join the fun. Oh, it'd be great to grow the club. We're, we're uh, accepting members all the time. So what about that white? Do you have to get a whole new wardrobe? We wear white or light if you've got tan, that's fine. You can show up in your striped outfit if you want. You'll just feel a little out of place. We try, I think most of us do try to wear white, uh, sort of in honor of the idea of what the croquet club is and the history of croquet. Um, so it, it does have a distinct, almost uniform if you will, but but not uniform in a negative connotation. It's a, it's, it's a sets you apart, if you will. So even though this isn't heaven, club members say it's as close as they come in Milwaukee. The summers are so quick and so fleeting uh, here in Wisconsin, but to have the opportunity to be outside, uh, to enjoy Lake Park, it's a real treat, uh, frankly, to be able to come here and know that on a weekly basis, you're gonna be able to come here and see friends and do something that's fun. Tim Van Voren, Fox 6 Sports. Of another season. Let's go, Bucks! Let's go, Bucks! But the work in the gym is not over for the WASA Junior Bucks. The saying "basketball is life," it just it, it doesn't stop. Everybody that buys into basketball loves basketball, and um, and as long as somebody wants to show up to a gym, I want to show up and I want to help them out. So basketball is definitely life around Milwaukee. Year round, these young athletes come together, sharing a love for the game. Oh, I want in a place where everyone is equal. I just like felt like I had another chance and I belonged here and I still loved it. It's just the same, like it's the same sport but with a different pair of shoes. Everybody was like me. It's like, because at school I play with like the able body, but when I'm here, I'm like everybody's the same as me. The nice part about it, if an able bodied person gets into a sport wheelchair and sits next to somebody that needs a wheelchair in their daily life, you really don't know who's who. Together they make up both a prep and varsity team and this season they help put Wisconsin on the map, bringing home some big time hardware. Our middle school team actually won the national tournament. Our high school team uh, was comprised of five kids and only five kids that barely even knew each other's names to start the season and we ended up taking six in the nation. So not bad. That's out of about 60 teams. It was crazy. We've been working towards it for like a, lot, a long time now and it, we finally got it done. It's a lot of good teams, but we just outplayed them and played our game, so we got it, we got it done. In a national championship certainly sets the bar high, but this team's success isn't always measured by wins and losses. Uh, to watch some of these kids, like, I can't do that, and then I, I try and tell them that they can, and then to see them execute that in, in a game or in a practice, all of a sudden they look back to the bench and be like, I did that. And, and that's what's, what is really important for me. It opened me up more. Actually, I was pretty shy. Like Before I started, I was super shy. And now I'm like talking, like I'm getting used to like opening up to people now. Giving inspiration a whole new meaning. It's cliche to say that they're inspiring because they have disabilities. I think they're inspiring just because they're great kids. Um, and, and they bring a smile. They, 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 bring, they bring it to practice every single time that we come and, and it's amazing. The sense of community in the uh, in the adaptive world is is pretty amazing. It's it's a rare thing to be in. 
and this community is showing no signs of slowing down. In Milwaukee, Caitlin Sharkey, Fox 6 Sports. Oh, more. I got point, I got point. <sighs>